So as you can clearly see, we got a Lee Cheng Ho game in front of us. And one of the reasons why I like going over Lee Cheng Ho games is because, for those of you who do not know who Lee Cheng Ho is, he was like this little GOAT player that uh, was like number one in like the entire world for like over 10 years. He was the like undisputed king. Like who was the number one player in the world? That guy. Forever. And, uh, you know, he got older and the little whippersnappers came up and like bit his heels. Uh, took him down. Very, very, very sad. Very, very, very sad. But then the whippersnappers began fighting each other for number one. You know? And they, they like, they, one person would get up for a little while and they got taken down. Another person would rise and they got taken down. But there wasn't really ever a replacement for this person the good old good old lee um and then while they were fighting you know ai then eventually came about and it's like ha ha i'm number one though shijin so's been one for a couple of years now because he's like hardcore mr ai man uh but yeah no one no one really quite like lee now what's interesting is there is the various players adaptation of AI in their games. Like you have, uh, I've seen even, God, was it Cho Chi Kun? I think it was Cho, I think, was it Cho's Chicken? I want to say even like older players, like good old Mr. Cho's Chicken and uh, good old Miss Nai Wei adopting AI variations into their own games. Lee, on the other hand, Lee, on the other hand, uh, really hasn't. Lee, on the other hand, is like, you know what? Um, no, I'm not playing the AI variations. Get wrecked, nerds. I don't care. To be fair, he's not retired. You know, as you can see. He's still winning games. Like this year alone, you you can see Lee win, Lee won, Lee won, Lee won, Lee won, Lee won, Lee won. Like he's not he's not retired. He's still pretty strong, but he's just like I don't care. I don't care. I do what I want. I do what I want. And this game is an example of I do what I want. In, in, in my humble opinion. Because I was watching this game, uh, you know, being uh, re uh, relayed on to uh, Fox, right? And it, it reminded me of a game very much kind of like old style versus new. And it was just interesting to see. Now, for those of you who also still don't know who Lee Cheng Ho is, I should point out one last thing. One thing that he was really good at is just kind of chilling, making the game relatively close-ish, and then just beating you to death in Endgame. That, that, that's just what he did. There were some pros from back in the day during his, uh, during his, when he was up back on top, that they were like, I, I don't really know how I lost this game. <laughs> he let me do everything I wanted to do, and I'm not ahead. So that, that, that's good old Lee for you. So here we have Lee as Vite versus admittedly a Tudon uh, professional playing in the LG Cup Korean preliminaries. This very, very modern before it was all about this enclosure and not letting your opponent expand across the board and approach you. But AI's taking things a little bit different. Different different opening, different things. Okay. Backing off here, because we can develop territory, we can expand across here too. It's completely A-okay, not an issue. Black approaches. And there is a move 
And there is a move I have not seen in forever. This move here. Oh, it's got it's it's got some age to it. It's got some age to it. Like this one right here is played because hey, even if I play here, or if I put a place here, I can two space extend. If I put a place here, I can two space extend. It's just like do whatever you want. You cannot kill that stone unless I let it die. It's not applying a lot of pressure. It's just chilling. When I saw that move, I was like, ooh, this is going to be a good game. I hope it wins. I hope it wins. Now, obviously, a move this slow-ish, Black ain't going to answer it, is he? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Black ain't answering that one. No, sir. No, sir. You know where Black's going to play now, though, don't you? You know where Black's going to play, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The young Tudon here. Good old young Grok. Who I picture is like an orc. Orc hit 3-3. Three, three. Rah. Because that is... It's too slow. Gonna hit your 3-3. Three, three. Obviously. Look okay. Blocks towards the thing. Now, here, admittedly, Black let me down a little bit. I wanted Black to play here just to verify that White was not gonna play the Flying Knife. I kind of wanted him to play here. He didn't, though. He, he played here, here, into here. I was hoping for the Flying Knife. But this is Gote now for White or for Black, right? So it's like, okay, I guess I get to play here too. Which immediately I'm on board with. It's like, yeah, you 3-3'd three him. You know, great. Fantastic. <laughs> then he gets to... He gets to follow up on your stone, dude. Are you have a don't you have a problem with that? Apparently not. So okay, bonk bonk into bonk bonk. You know Black's next answers, right? What's Black do next? What's Black do next? You all know. You all know. More 3-3? Three, three? No. No, 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 not more 3-3. Three, three. Atari? Mm-hmm. Yep. Playing all the greatest hits. Playing all the greatest hits. So, in the upper left-hand corner, we've got, like, you know, the super modern variations, right? And Black's like, oh, old man, you're playing too slow, bro. I'm going to play all the fasty new stuff. And Lee's just like, okay, I'm going to just keep playing the old stuff against you. It's like, you didn't defend your bottom group. I'm going to attack it. Now, I want to point out what's really fun about this. There's nothing wrong with how White is playing, even according to the AI. AI is fine with White's moves. It's like, mm, not the top pick, but ain't losing you that much, so mm, it's fine. It's good. It's whatevs. Perfectly playable. Perfectly playable. Which probably comes as a surprise to some people who thinks that, you know, even the split? Um, God, what was the split? Ah, oh, crap, I remembered this. Yeah, pretty much even the split. Pretty much even the split. Not a top pick by any stretch. But it's like, yeah. Okay. So, goes for survival. Okay. Going for survival. Not playing away. Because he's alive now, so he's going to Tanuki and play the next big spot. Because it's not about coming out and, like, maintaining, like, a balance board and 
counterattacking your opponent. It's all about them points, yo. So I was like, I'm alive now. Black can't kill me, or white can't kill me. Could surround me completely. I mean, can't do that. Yeah, can do that. But I mean, he can't kill me, so I'm just going to play elsewhere now. Not giving up. This is this is a fun variation, very fun variation. Going to the Atari, it forces this kind of dealio, right? Where there's like an Atari here again. But that's not what White's picking. Mm, excuse me. It would be hard to handle, hard for a keeper to handle the position, the top position. Oh, the upper right. There's a million ways to handle the upper right. Like, you could have hand, uh, played here, for example. You could play here. Um, if you really needed to, you could still play here. You've also got little things like this one. Like, almost anything up here will live. The, the area is too, uh, too weak. No, the up middle behind the wall. Oh, this? Yeah, we don't really know what this is yet. We don't really know what this is yet. Might be something, might be nothing. We'll we'll continue to look at that. So white picks this variation. And then does something that you don't don't expect. He's like, uh, I'm gonna grow. You want those three stones, don't you? Oh, yeah, you want those stones, don't you? I know you do. Take the stones. Come on, you want them. Only one problem. Because of the Atari? Not a chance that's happening. Rut row. He could have played the turn instead, but then self-explanatory, right? Did you just get killed this way? So that's awkward. That's awkward. This variation exactly allows him to diagonal. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty cute. I'm a big fan. But it's okay. This is not a horrible position for black either. The game is still mostly even at this point. I'll tell you when that changes. The game is still mostly even at this point because there's a ton of Aji for both sides. Okay. So black plays here. White defends. Now, it's a given that if you can't reduce the top of the board, you lose this game. I mean, it, it's just too much. Like, if if we're just going to say that, um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is White's. Smile. Then... That's too much. Oh, that's way too much territory. So like that's territory, and like that would be territory, and I get surrounded, and that's still invadable. Like I, it, it, it'd be too much. It'd be too much. So we're gonna go and invade it. Because if you can't do this, you're dead. Side note. Things like this, even though certain places don't like me saying it a lot, is one of the reasons why this 3-3 is difficult. Because if you can't do this in this position, you're also going to lose. You just are. So we're going to play in here. We're going to get attacked. We're going to live... And we're not going to give up too much while we're doing it. If we fail in any of these things, we lose the game. Simple as that.
can't just fall back and make a heavy shape. Otherwise, that's game-endingly not good. Keeping it separated. This is my weakness? Yeah, it's uh, your weakness and uh, every amateur's weakness, pretty much, for the most part. Because there's a lot of things you have to juggle. Like, you gotta juggle uh, your sabaki, your, your knowledge of shape. You have to juggle your life and death and knowing exactly when you are and are not alive. Uh, you have to juggle, you know, your but your sense of how large a position is so you know when to even try and do it. And it, it's just like a huge lot of things. It's just a lot of things. A lot of things, you know? So black plays here, or white plays this way. Black now has a weak group surrounded by strength. So he still has to flex his pro, his proness. Now he's being surrounded. AI style is not a shortcut after all? No. And the reason why I keep, you know, harping on about AI variations is because, yeah, a lot of people do think it's a shortcut. But, like, you can see the pro here, right? He's struggling right now. He's, str he's got to be very, very careful in his moves. Or the game will end. Like, immediately. You know? So, okay. He's going after the shape. Obviously, White's going to follow up. Going bish bash kadoosh. The push, fine. Create the cutting point. Back to not being dead. Now, this is the first move that the AI really uh, took issue with uh, Black, or about White about, rather. White goes ahead and connects here. So we can harass this later on. But from a numerical perspective, I think the AI wanted like a move. Um, I think it was like over on the left or something for more points. I forget where exactly. But yeah, this is just, yeah, you don't got to respond to that. You're black, you know, white's fine. These stones are, oh, it was here. It was here. White, the AI wanted this one first, over and over and over again. Because, you know, more territory and stuff. Yeah, more territory and stuff. It was this move, over and over and over again. Uh, AI wants uh, White to play here. But White connects. Trying to come out because that middle, yo. It's at this point in the game where White's noticing, uh, noticeably getting more ahead. Like, up until this point, it was, you know, bouncing kind of back and forth. Like, this person was 50, 55, maybe a low 60, and then the other person was, you know, 45, 55-ish. And it's kind of like going back and forth there. Uh, here, it starts to spiral out of control. For the following reasons. We have a group here that's not 100% alive. A group here is not 100% alive. A wide open area here. An enclosure here that does not have solid points to it. And these are a lot of things that Black has to juggle perfectly. Stand up. Stand up. Like Even right now, right? If White just plays a move like... Um, I don't know. If we just, like, lean here, right? Block, blah, blah. That's, like, 4, 5, 10, 15, like, 20 points. It's it's an issue. There's only one more thing that he has to be worried about. Black takes points. Black takes points. Here, unfortunately, black, uh, the AFM member correctly did not like black taking points here. We needed uh, a few more moves down in here. And I think to slowly address the left-hand side, if I remember correctly. 
white pokes takes takes completely unsettled position right now we can play here later on because of the shape which means whenever white wants these three stones are cut off until it's defended by black because there's no counter to it that said that's for later this is still strong going to reduce first because one thing you wouldn't want to do is like go here cut this off and then have this solidified because that'd be a lot of points too a lot of points too Hane, extend down. Now at this point, the most solid move is the connection. But you also know if you connect, white's alive, right? Like if we play here instead. Then we're looking at this, right? Like, this is essentially the position that we're in now. So where's Black's territory? Where, where, where's Black's territory? The upper left-hand corner and whatever this is? That, that's a GG. That, that's a tough game. Right there. Not to mention, you still have the disconnect. Right? It's things like this. Little things like this. It kind of made the enclosure this way hard to follow, right? And what we usually prioritize this one instead, because at least when we enclose this way, if we get invaded and we have a wall here that faces the open area, we can still develop, you know? So yeah, black plays here, um, and then proceeds to lose the game for the rest of the game. And by losing the game for the rest of the game, I mean he's like at like 10% and less for like the remainder of the game. Because this cut is huge. You might be thinking to yourself, wait a minute, isn't this a co? And congratulations, you're right, this is a co. Here's a question. How many people actually know this branch, this variation? Anybody? You rarely see it. You you rarely, rarely see it. Because, like, you need that stone over in here. Like, I can probably count... Okay, maybe I'm more than just one hand. But, yeah, it's very rare, in my opinion. So, yeah, you go here. You do the Hane. You do the Hane. You get the throw in. Everything looks great. Connect. Yohane again. And now we have a ko. <laughs> Can you see the ko now? Because even here, it's still slightly difficult. I wouldn't be surprised if Q players cannot see this ko right now. Even on this position. Can you see it? Or is it still hidden? I I'm genuinely curious. No idea? It's in the corner? Yeah. So, black attacks. Now, here's where it is. Because we have, we have a couple ways to get there. A couple ways to get there. Once we Atari here... We can either connect or take. If we take, there's an Atari. If we fill, there's a Ko. So we can get there that way, right? Or we can play this one. Can't play here for black, that's self Atari. And we're back to Ko. So it's at this stage that black has no chance in the game anymore. Game's game's done. 
And which is, it's mind-boggling that that's true, too. Because White hasn't done anything really difficult this game. Like, White's not being really tricky. He did, like, the Tsuji up here. He got him with, like, a Tsuji up here to kill those two stones. But that's that's a trade-off, right? Because there's, like, some... Yeah, there's endgame questions here. But we got, like, some outside influence and we're growing and whatnot and what have you. But, like, the weak group here that we're dealing with... Uh, the weak group here that we're dealing with and the shape that we made... The uh, lingering Aji from the Large Knight... It, it's almost basic. Almost. Almost basic. Retake. Endgame questions. Yeah, the, the move. Yeah, well, even that would still be an endgame. It'd still be uh, a thing. Because you could take, you could Atari here, right? And take. But it's still an endgame question because that, that stone's not dead, right? Or alive, sorry. Because black could then retake it unless you take the one stone, which you're not going to do because that's go Terry. White, the AI just wants white to play here and then to play away. So, it, it's it's a little thing. It's a little thing, IMO. Um, Christ, what are we? He's doing what? Atari, take, or connect. Okay, retake. Got it. And then Atari... Take back, and then poke, connect, retake, Atari, extend, probably a mistake by the way, Atari, connect, wait, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yes. Take. Take. There we go. And one of the reasons for that take is because he didn't put the booty boo. That's freaking huge. Like, you didn't take. You didn't take. Why didn't you take, you greedy... You greedy, greedy person. Why didn't you take? Why did you extend? Now not only did that co-end, but holy crap. That's insane. That's insane. But all right, that's Sentai now because we can't let that happen. So the connection's now Sentai. Then we come out. At this point, it's pretty much smooth sailing for white for the rest of the game. But what's interesting thing here is white makes an oops. It's a small oops, but it's an oops. Like a lot of uh, from here going forward, the AI is just like white, just defend your points on the left and you're fine. But tell me, when does the pro do that? Ever. We humans have a saying, whether or not you are playing Go or you are playing StarCraft. Not saying, our wise, wise philosophers always tell us, when you are ahead, get more ahead. That's what we do. That's what we do. We have little pokes here. AI disagrees. AI disagrees. But the AI is not human. The AI does not understand our greatness. This is good to defend the left-hand side, right-hand side, whatever-hand side. Poking the shape point. Very, very nice. Black's like, I'm out. There's no way I live locally. There's no combination of moves that's giving me two eyes here if my opponent is already inside. So we're getting in some forcing moves, getting in some cutting moves. That was huge because now this is disconnected. Oh, 
Uh -huh. And you can see how white makes a little oopsie, because I would have done it too. You can see how white's going to make his little oopsie, because I would have totally done it too. Uh, here, for example, the AI just literally wants this into this for uh, for white. And just be like, just do that. You win the game. You win the game. You're like 99% chance to win. You're fine. Just do that and you're good. Instead, went ahead, get more ahead. To be fair, it's hard to see where this fight's going to go. Because it looks like it's the most obvious thing in the history of ever, right? You're just, you're going after all of this now. Of course you're going to do this. It's great. Okay, I made his eye bleed. I kind of tried to give a little... Anyway. So yeah, it, it's hard to read out the intricacies of where this is going to lead you. It makes perfect sense. But even now, the AI is like, dude, just defend, defend, take your territory. What Black has to defend. Black gets no more points. You keep all of your points. You win the game. Done. But White's like, no, I'm going after more. So this... To understand what's happening here, we can see like four... 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then if we keep it, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, maybe even 30 points here. Maybe 30 points here. Right? Maybe 30 points. Not unreasonable to expect 30 points uh, on that left-hand side. Right? White goes for the middle. Hane times Suji. Realize we can't cut here successfully. The drop down. Need to uh, keep our investment. We extend up. Okay, now we're getting into a problem because there's like cuts and then there's like stuff here and here so we have to defend which means this is now working so we have to sacrifice that and you can see why the AI didn't want this variation because like when you can read out thousands of variations a second we can see this one plain as day right so we're, we're gonna we're gonna bleed out a little bit Poking in. Have to make sure that we're fine. Have to make sure we're fine. Now we don't have anywhere close to 30 points here, right? Instead we have like uh, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Uh, to be fair, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Like, it's, it's still a decent amount. But it's, like, not the 30 that we just had here, right? That we could get just from keeping the left-hand side. So, I totally get why he went for it. But because he had to, like, ignore some stuff in his corner, just got smacked all around. Yeah, it wasn't quite... A good result, but he's ahead enough that it's still fine. It's still fine. It's still fine. I think, to be fair, this one maybe here wasn't a requirement. It was probably better. But yeah, it, I mean, it's okay. It's okay. And then we did an Atari here. So that hurt. A little bit more of a reduction. Trying to claw his way back in. Time Suji again. And keep him out. Defend all the things. 
defend all the fangs. Going for the take. Poking on in. Poking on in. Good reduction. Good reduction. End game. Now it's a close game in end game, uh, which means Li Cheng Ho wins. It's like, sorry. Sorry. Not beating Li in end game. That was his thing for like two decades. You're not beating him in end game. He is, he is the master of end game. Sorry. Not beating Li Cheng Ho and exactly in the thing that he likes to do. And uh, at this point, again, the game's pretty close. But he's a few points down. So Black goes ahead and resigns. Goes ahead and resigns. The left-hand side was a little awkward. Like, Black got some points. We lost a bunch of points. We did get all that middle, though. Uh, got in a few good points in here, too. But yeah, not enough for Black and uh, Game Ogre, as they say. So I thought this was a pretty fun game. I thought this was a pretty fun game. I enjoyed it and I wanted to go over it. Because, oh, so nice. It's kind of like old versus new. Get to see Li Chenghao kind of dancing around. Even trying to fight a bit. Even trying to fight a bit. Pretty good. Pretty good. I liked, I liked, I liked, I liked. And I thought it was ironic that, you know, Mr. I'll give you what you want and, you know, just chill to victory came a little too close to losing because he's had to change. He's had to change. He was taken out with overwhelming aggression. So he's had to fight back. So he's continuing to fight back and that almost ruined him. He should have just been chill. You should have gone back to your roots, sir. Just keep the 30 points and you would have been completely fine. You would have been more ahead at that point. So yeah, great game on many levels. I enjoyed and I hope you did too.